beautiful people, what is up and welcome back to my channel. I'm Jamila and I love all things beauty, I love all things makeup, I love all things skincare, and I especially love sharing my tips and tricks for how to find high-end and luxury beauty products at bargain prices. If that sounds like something you're interested in, I would absolutely love if you would consider subscribing and joining the fam. I swear my little dances get more ridiculous every and every time, but y'all like it, y'all rock with it, so let's go. I've been filming for a little bit all day today, so I'm a little shiny, but we gonna let that go. I'm trying to do this video really quickly. I won't. I want to do one more video after this, and I'm already like an hour behind schedule, so we are moving with a quickness today. So you already saw from the title and the thumbnail, this is going to be my monthly favorites video. And I think that this is going to be a relatively quick one because honestly, March was not the best month. <laughs> and it wasn't the best month in terms of me budget-wise, but also like... I feel like I slowed it down a bit in March, so I was using the same products over and over and over again, and I didn't really, and it was a lot of new stuff too, so I didn't really get a chance to dig into some things as much as I wanted to, so I don't really have a lot of things to talk about. Now, I like to do some lifestyle stuff in this video, but I don't have anything to share with you guys this time, so sorry, no lifestyle this edition, but hopefully next month we'll have some more lifestyle products to go on and we only have a couple of things to go through for this this month's favorites so I don't want to keep you guys let's go ahead and dive in so starting with skincare I actually only have one skincare product for you guys my skin has been doing the most I think I talked about this in previous videos but I've been having some really weird flare-ups lately uh, I think part of it is hormonal I also went and I saw my dermatologist and she was basically like yeah, you should probably reduce the amount of dairy, sugar, and red meat that you consume. So I'm trying to like figure out my diet and eliminate as many things as I can to see what is really causing me to flay. Like I'm getting a lot of breakouts on my chin area, which is typically hormonal and tied to like your menstrual cycle, which I just had, so it makes sense from that perspective. But I'm also getting a lot of like also just really random breakouts that aren't typical for me, especially if they're non-cystic breakouts. So I'm just, I, I have to figure out what is causing me to break out. Maybe it's my detergent, maybe it's the food. It could be so many different things, you guys. So I'm trying to figure that out. So skincare wise, I haven't been trying to introduce too many new things into my skincare routine because I'm trying to like calm everything down. So the only thing that I want to mention is the Refub Rebalancing Essence. Now this does include glycerin, niacinamide, metal foam seed oil, pan panthenol, betanine, and allotoin. Now the reason why I like reintroduced this into my routine, I did end up picking up the full Refa skincare set, but I hadn't been using this as consistently, but my skin has been really dry and irritated, like sore, and mm, that could be like, it just needs a break from all of the makeup I've been wearing on a pretty consistent basis. So like, that could honestly be a lot of it. But I think that part of the extra dryness is the extra stuff that I've been given into my routine. So I have a new topical that I use in the morning as well as some oral meds that I'm on. And I think it's just causing me to dry out a little bit more than usual. So I have started using this in the morning and night. And I do feel like it's done a lot to add a little extra hydration to my skin and just calm it down a little bit so it isn't as red and as irritated as it's been these last couple of weeks. Like my skin has been like parched, like dry, but oily and it's weird. Like I feel dry, so I, you know, moisturize really well. And then I end up getting oily. It's like, it's like, a, it's like a whole mess. My skin is just doing the most. But I've really enjoyed using this because it definitely helps with my skin feeling less irritated. So that's going to be what I'm going to be using for the foreseen future right now. Next up, fragrances. I, well, I only need to mention two. And I think I mentioned this before, but Fantasy Cosmetica, with their Rogue release, they actually released two fragrances. One is called Druid, one is called Rogue. And these are... Um, heaven these are strong though these are potent these will last you all day but i love these my favorite is the rogue scent something about this is just oh my god it smells so good and i got both of these in pr but i've really been loving them because they they're very strong and they last all day i actually think that they have probably an oil base to them so they're because it's a little bit oilier and thicker it stays on the skin and scent wise a little bit longer I don't know anything about fragrances that is not my area of expertise but that's just my guess <laughs> so I have been 
loving that, wearing that so frequently. I've kind of like paused on it the last week because I really want it to last. I do have a couple of trips coming up, so I'm <laughs> trying to like stretch it out. The one bad thing that I think about this is that because the bottles are hand painted, which is both beautiful in its own right, but problematic is that because it's hand painted, there's no way to tell where you are in terms of how much you have left. So I don't know if I'm halfway done or what. So that's why I'm trying to like save it because I don't know if I've gone too far and how much further it will last me. But honestly, the scents are amazing and I hope that they come out, I hope the brand comes out with like bigger bottle options because I really, really like them. Speaking of products that I really like, I also am like here for the new Fantasy Cosmetica Rogue palette. I just think that this is beautiful. I think that this color story is absolutely stunning. I actually think this would also pair really well with the Druid palette that they released. And I had a lot of fun with this palette. I created so many looks that I fell in love with. I thought that this was really cohesive. I thought you had the perfect mix of shimmers and mattes as well as light to dark mattes that it was literally everything that I needed, everything that I wanted, and once again, Fantasy Cosmetica kick, kicked it out the park with this one. Next, I have two products that I'm actually wearing on my face. The first is the Givenchy Prisma Libre Matte Foundation. I've had this for some time, I just had like put it to the side, and I'm trying to do better at rotating my foundations. So I pulled this one back out, and she's cute! Now, is this the most matte foundation? No. <laughs> Not by a long shot, but... I think that if you have, if you want a more natural finish, that you'll get it from this. Is this going to be like a summertime favorite? No, because I do still see myself getting oily with this foundation. But I like that it's lightweight. I like that it blends into the skin really well. And I like that you can build it up to get more full coverage. Now, it definitely starts off as pretty medium. But if you want fuller coverage, you can add more to it. And you have a fuller coverage look. Like it hides all the things that I wanted to hide without making my skin look like not my skin. So this is one that I've been using for the last two or so weeks, but you know, consistently. And it's a nice one. I definitely think that it's a solid foundation, especially for the folks that I would say are more combination skin. Like if you're super oily, I don't think it's gonna give you enough mattifying properties <laughs> that you need. But if you have more combination skin or you lean more on the dry side, I actually think that that would work well. And given that my skin has been feeling really dry and parched lately, I find that that one works really nicely for me without like getting too oily and greasy. And then the other product that I'm wearing on my face right now is the Sydney Grace Face Palette. Now I am just wearing the blush and quite frankly, the blush alone is worth it. I think that it is such a beautiful natural blush. It's like perfect for my complexion. I adore this blush so much, you guys. So much. And that's the best part of the palette. Now the bronzer is really nice. Is it my favorite bronzer of all time? No, but it's a really nice bronzer and I like that it has a deeper shade, which is technically a brush, a blush, but I use the deeper shade to deepen up the bronzer to get a more dramatic bronze. So I do think that if you wanted, you could mix these two and come up with your own perfect bronzer shade, even though this is technically a, a blush. And I love the highlight in this because it can go from blinding to like natural. And I like that versatility. So yeah, I've been using this like since I got it in PR. Love it, obsessed with it. That blush, I hope they sell as singles because I dream about that blush. Let's stick with Sydney Grace for a while because I had to mention my girl Tracy. Tracy has been on my lips for weeks. And it's so funny because you guys keep asking me, what are you wearing on your lips? And I'm like, it's this Sydney Grace lip shade Tracy, but I think they took it off the website. Y'all, I found out that this was a part of like a Mother's Day bundle that they did some time back and it wasn't supposed to be a permanent product, but y'all keep asking me about it. And <laughs> I think by the third or fourth time, or, or no, like two people asked me in like one day and they were like, yeah, this is the second time someone's asked and like maybe we'll see if we could bring it back. And I was like, yes, please bring Tracy back because I use this every day for like the past month, like at least two or three weeks I've used this like every day. And you know, knowing that it wasn't coming back, I'm like, damn, maybe I should slow down and not use this because then I can't get it again. But I was like, you know what, screw it. I'm gonna use it, I love it, it is amazing. I love this. This is the perfect lip cream for me. It's also that type of color that I don't need a lip liner. I don't need to do anything to it but put this on my lip. And it has perfect opacity. It's comfortable. 
comfortable. Like, I am obsessed with that, and I really, really hope they're able to bring it back because I think that everybody deserves to get their hands on Tracy. Now, an older product that's been making its rounds in my favorites this month is my one size, what's it called? Fire starter blush. I have been wearing a lot of these sort of greeny, orangey looks, and with that, I do think that an orange blush works well. So I had to pull out this one because this one, it's just so stunning. And now that I feel like I'm like way more comfortable with the amount of pigment that comes with this, I'm able to like create really, really beautiful looks with this without going too overboard. And because this has both a matte and a shimmer version, I can top this off with this. Like I can mix and match and get exactly what I want from this blush. And I've been loving it. I love a good orange blush. And that has been my like go-to for the past couple weeks when I'm not using the Sydney Grace blush it's been that fire starter blush. So it's been kind of a either the pinky Sydney Grace one or the orangey one size one, which is amazeballs. And definitely worth it. Like one size definitely came out with some blushes for people of deeper skin tones and I am here for all of it. Okay, two products left and they're both eyeshadow palettes. So the first palette that I wanna mention is the Man Eater palette from Artitude Cosmetics. I did get this in PR. I love it. I wore this for like five days straight and for good reason because it is amazing. I think that the shadows in here perform well. This is a UK based brand and I think that their quality is top notch. So if you are looking for affordable in the shadow in the UK so you don't have to pay shipping and customs, I definitely recommend you check this one out. And this is an extremely versatile palette. Like it does have a lot of greens and so that's probably what your eyes are drawn to first. But you do have some sort of neutrally bronze coppery shades. You have a pop of pink as well as some blue. So you do get some versatility there. And there are two subtle multi-chromes in the palette as well um, that you can use to amp up any look. So I've really been liking this. I'm so happy that I got introduced to this new brand because I think that their products are top notch. And then lastly, the Nomad palette. Like, as much as I am not in love with the theme of the palette, you can't knock the quality. The quality is top notch. It's like one of the best palettes that they put out quality wise. Now these are all, well not all, but a lot of these shadows are pigments. So the punch in the mattes is definitely more than what they're known for. But I love how all these perform. I love the multi-chromes. These are kind of like the standard multi-chrome shifts. But I think that the formula in these is really nice. I appreciate that it's not too emollient because sometimes the ones that are super emollient can be really hard for folks with oily lids or creasy lids. I think that this is the right level of creamy without being too creamy or oily. So it would work for pretty much most or uh, most eyelids without having any issues with creasing. I also think that even though these are black based multi-chromes, they're not so black based that the black is overpowering. I do think that this is really nice. Now this palette is pretty deep, it's pretty grunge, so you're only gonna get a really like deep, powerful, punchy look, but it's gonna look bomb.com. And I this is just excellent quality all around. So very, very happy to have that one in my collection. Okay. And that is it. Those are my favorites for March. Again, not a ton of products. I feel like March, I really slowed down and I focused on the products that I was using. For everything that I reviewed or received in PR in March, I tried it at least three, four times. So it really didn't give me a lot of time to play around with a bunch of products, but it's okay. I really had fun this month just slowing down and really enjoying each product individually for what it was. So if you like this video, go ahead and hit that like button. Don't forget to leave a comment down below. Letting me know what are your favorites so much. I'm very, very curious. Um, and if you haven't already done so, subscribe. Join the fam. We have fun over here. It's a good time. As always, I appreciate you guys more than you know. Thank you for stopping by. Thank you for watching my video and supporting. And I will catch you in my next one. Bye.